Well, this is Dan of Vagabond Awake, and today we're lucky to have Mark on the channel. Mark is in Okinawa, Japan. Uh, Mark, we're excited to hear about it, and we're excited to have you here on the channel. Thanks so much for joining us. That's great. Excited to be here, Dan. I've been following you for years, and uh, you're a real inspiration. So great information, and I'm so happy to be here. Well, thanks so much. For all of you listening, uh, if you want to find out more about Mark, uh, he has a YouTube channel. Uh, we'll put a link to it below. We'll also put it on the webpage below. Uh, Mark, welcome. So where, where are you from, Mark? I'm actually, uh, well, I'm from the U.S., uh, California, but I was in the Marine Corps, so we moved all over uh, California, Virginia, Florida, Mississippi, Texas, you name it. So, and then Japan. Why did you decide to leave your home country and move to Okinawa? I actually came here active duty in the Marine Corps first, and we loved it so much in Japan. I pretty much stay here ever since. So I've been here for many years. And when did you move there permanently? Pretty much been here since 1998 in uh, in Japan. Wow. What was it about I Okinawa that really caught your eye and said, boy, this is going to be home for me? Well, I we were on the mainland first. So I spent a lot of years in uh, Ibukuni and mainland Japan, which is much different than Okinawa. So uh, and I came to Okinawa in 2010 and been here ever since. It's more of an island, island vibe. I don't know if you've ever been here. No, I haven't been to Okinawa. I've been to other parts of Japan, but uh, from Tokyo on up. So yeah, much different on the on the Okinawa. You probably, as a Marine, you probably also went to other parts of the world. What What's the feeling there that you get that you're not, you know, that just really sets it apart for you? I I love, uh, and I mentioned it in my videos, though, but the safety and security here is really nice. Uh, you don't have to worry about you know anybody stealing anything or any crime. So I I really love that. You know, of course, I've been to every other uh, country in Southeast Asia, Philippines, and, you know, it's much different. So, uh, but yeah, I love it. We love it here. Or I love it in Japan. So when did you first think that maybe you would decide that living overseas would be for you? That's a good question. I think I've always felt that way. Uh, as far back as I can remember, I always wanted to move and see the world. And uh, literally, uh, when uh, I came here with the family, of course, my kids are all grown and off doing their own thing now. We had little kids when we came here. And it was such a safe, secure environment in Japan. It was, I just, we loved it. As soon as I got here, I was like, man, I don't want to leave. This place is great. And uh, so, yeah, far back as I can remember, always wanted to get out of the U.S. and just travel. Great. I have a nephew uh, that really loves it there, too. He was in the Marines. So um, I get it. It's I hear it over and over again from people. So it's definitely uh, definitely something that people should think about if that's if it makes sense for them. Do you ever think about moving home or is this it for you? Do you think you'll just stay there or any other countries? I, I, you know, it's I can answer that real quick. There's absolutely no way. I mean, nothing against the United States. Uh, but I love it here, and uh, I'm South Southeast Asia is really where I'm going to stay. So, yeah, I, I love it in Southeast Asia, absolutely. What do you do about? Do you have health insurance, or you pay as you go? How how do you handle health care, or do you? Or what, what's your thoughts on that? Well, um, I'm a retired military, so I have that benefit. And here in Okinawa, there's a lot of military bases, so that's not an issue really for me. And I stay super healthy. So, um, but the Japanese healthcare system is really good. And it's literally a fraction of the cost of the U.S. Yeah, healthcare is just not really an issue here. You don't hear people talking about it. They do their annual health checkup. Uh, you, you, when you go to the hospital in the in Japan, you just pay on the way out. You know, you give them your credit card, and and it's just not an issue. I think too. I think years back, I had an experience with that, a family member, and it was literally a few hundred dollars for something that would have cost thousands of dollars in the U.S. So. Wow. What's your overall feeling about how you're received there? Do you feel like the Japanese are friendly to you as your home country? Are they more friendly? What's What are your thoughts about that? Yeah, that's that's another thing I love about here. Absolutely. Everybody's friendly. It's, yeah, I haven't been to the U.S. in so long. I You know, when I fly back there, you fly into the airport and, you know, get treated like, a, you know, like cattle coming through there. So I literally, <laughs> you know, I didn't. Without saying too much, it's very, they're very friendly over here and I prefer it. Go where you treat it best. So yeah, very friendly. No, no problem. That's really cool. That's really cool. So what would, what would a one bed, you know, people that are thinking about living or retiring overseas are always curious about cost of living. What would a one bedroom apartment do you think rent for there in Okinawa? Roughly yeah. maybe a range. Japan is one of those places where you could spend a ton of money or a little bit of money, and I just prefer to live cheap. I just like it. It's just me now here. I have a one-bedroom place. Literally, my place is 
41,000 yen. So I just did the exchange rate on that. That's like $286 a month, wow. including the water. So yeah, all I have that and electric bill and the Wi-Fi. That's all I have. Wow, that's great. Well, you mentioned water and electric and Wi-Fi. What are those? Yeah, like I said, the water bill is included, but it's it, it's the water bills are cheap here in Japan. I think it's only less than $10 a month for water, but it's included in my rent. So I pay oh. Wi-Fi like $45 a month or something less than that. And electric bill, the most I ever had was, I think the highest electric bill I ever had was $85. Usually it's like $20, just depends. So yeah, that's uh, cheap. It's cheap. That's great. Is that, so the high one is, was that an AC thing, air conditioning? Yeah. Or? Yeah. Okay. Middle of the summer, we're running the AC 24-7, probably got, you know, $85 maximum. But typically, you know, when the weather's good here, I live right by the ocean, so, you know, just run the fan. It's twenty dollars a month. So you you mentioned hot. I like hot weather. Not everyone does, but how hot does it get in the summer there? How hot is it in the winter? Yeah, it's it's hot and humid here. Probably comparable to you know like Florida or something if you're in the U.S. But so it stays hot and humid during the summer. Winter time in Okinawa it gets chilly. It doesn't freeze, but it gets chilly. If you're on the mainland Japan, it you know gets cold. It snows there. So it just depends on where you are. Okay. And what's what's your smartphone run you per month, roughly? Yeah, cheap. Actually, my data is like less than $15. With the exchange right now, it's like basically $15 a month for, for my cell phone bill. So yeah, it's negligible. Okay. You you mentioned that you're single now. Are you doing some dating while you're there? What's that like? What's the <laughs> Good question. Actually, actually, I'm going to Thailand next month for a while. I'll be over there for a while. So yeah, no, it's 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 great here. It's great. No, no issues there at all. So no problem at all finding company if you want it. Oh, cool. That's great. What, what You mentioned Thailand. What's a flight to Thailand? cost you yeah, it, it's a shame because before the whole pandemic there was direct flights with peach airlines it was cheap like a hundred dollars hundred and something dollars go direct to thailand now i'm paying i gotta go to tokyo so from here to tokyo is about fifty dollars and then i got a ticket for like 280 dollars i think to the town so it's cost me just a little over three hundred dollars to get to thailand yeah it'll i'm sure so. it'll come back soon though to you know direct flights so i, uh, I hope so I bet you within a year, my guess. So so what are some of the things you do for fun there in Okinawa? Yeah, well, actually, it's in, if you look at my video, I can kind of see a typical day, but I'm right yeah. here by the be or by the ocean. You've got the beaches, of course, and I like the lifestyle. Like you, I like warm weather. So yeah. if, you, if you look at my closet, it's pretty much shorts and T-shirts, and that's it, you know? That's so, cute. yeah, I'm outside when the weather's good. Right now, I could actually take you outside right now if you want. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, let's yeah. do it. You want to do that? Yeah, bring your camera out there. Show it to us. Let's try it and uh, let's give, me give it a shot. And we'll go right outside. Here we go. Good. And Mark mentions he has a video. He has a YouTube channel. It will, we'll put a link to that. So if you're interested in Okinawa, you'll have a resource you can go to to watch videos and stuff. And he's going to take us out now. Let's see if this works, Dan. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with experimenting in life. Yeah, what the heck? Oh, shoot. Ooh. It's raining. It's raining. Sorry here about that. I, I have to it's be. It's raining. I'm in. I'm in Bangkok, Mark, and we're raining here too. So okay. Well, darn. Well, right there, around that corner, about less than 100 meters away from the water. So yeah. I'm sorry, it's not no going to work right now. But that's nice. Looks uh, like a looks like a nice little beach community you're in there. It is. I love the community. It's great. So, like I said, I spend a lot of time outside, and especially during the summer when the weather's good. So. So how does the Sorry visa about work? that. No worries. How does the visa work there? What's that like? Actually, you know, immigration, I've heard you mention it in your other videos, a typical complaint is, you know, they don't put a lot of information on there. It's not unclear. So, I mean, it's all out there. There's visas. You can do, you know, an extended tourist visa. If you have a certain amount of money in the bank, you know, a business visa, education visa, entertainment visa, a cultural visa. There's different options. Japan is one of the challenging ones, of course. It's not like other places. Yeah. So it is, it's challenging. But I want to say, if like you're a good person, you're contributing to the economy, and you're, you know, you don't have a police record or anything, and you're willing to jump through a few hoops, there's always a way to stay. So okay. I kind of sum it up like that. You know, there's, there's always options. And, and if you want to work, you can go on a military base, you can get a job, and then you have SOPA status, which is the status of forces agreement. So then that's, that allows you to stay in Japan.
Wow. So I don't know if that if that helps, but yeah, that, uh, I mean, yeah, there's it lets them know that you know some places do require a little more creativity. You know, Japan is and Singapore. I think this year are rated the two number one passports in the world, meaning there's the most places you can go to anywhere in the world without a visa if you have if you hold that passport. So it's not surprising it's hard to get in there. That's usually the case. Like in the U.S., it's also hard to get into, but a lot of people like to live there. So that, that's the that's yeah. the breaks, you know. Well, good. So so. What if you could do it all over again? You know, what what would you do different, if anything? What sort of advice do you have for people thinking about? Oh, uh, let's see. So specific to you know, I really love I love Okinawa just because I love the warm weather, and I'm uh, I'm done with cold weather and snow, and no, never again. I'm not doing that. So so nothing against it if that's your thing, but I like warm weather and coconuts and beaches. So 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 the mainland Japan is very is much different than Okinawa. I don't know. I, I want to say I would have moved to Okinawa sooner than, you know, because the mainland, but it, it was great. There's pros and cons to each. So, so yeah, what I would do different. That's a good question. I don't know. I'm happy right now. And if, like I say, if you would have changed anything in life, it would have put you in a different place. So where I'm at now is great. So I, I guess I wouldn't, wouldn't change a thing. Cool. And so tell us a little bit about what you'd like to talk about and share on your channel so people have an idea of what, you know, what, what you're doing over there. Oh, that's cool. You know, I just started the channel. You know, I retired recently. I was a contractor. On the, so I started the channel. Actually, it's called Pursuing Impact. And I'm just pursuing ways to have a positive impact on the world. You know, I just, I'm having, I have a great life. I have a good time and I want to share it and inspire others. So that's what I'm doing. So yeah, I started with a few videos. I'm working on another one right now. So hopefully a channel will build and grow and you'll see a lot more. So it'd be great if anybody come over and check it out. Definitely. That's That sounds like a, a, a good spin to have on your uh, your retirement, if you will, to just look around and say, hey, how can I make life better for other people? So that's yes, sweet. Yeah. I recommend people go over there and check out Mark. I watched his video a couple of weeks ago when he emailed me and I, was, I thought it was fun. It's a fun video to watch. It, it didn't seem that long, but it was... It, it had it gave you the tempo and the feel for Okinawa. So if you're curious about Okinawa, Okinawa I recommend you go over there and check out Mark and check out what he's up to and what it looks like on the ground there mm -hmm. and what, what a day in his life looks like. So, so Mark, it's, it's been a joy chatting with you. I want to thank you for coming on the channel and sharing your experience with people and, and please check out, check in with us in a year or so. See, so let us know how things are going, what you're up to. Yeah, absolutely. I look forward to one of these days running into you and shaking your hands. So I appreciate everything you do and all that great info. And it's great chatting to you. Thanks so much, Mark. You take care. Take care. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, if you liked our video, please like, comment, or subscribe. Any of that would help our business. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Click the link in the notes below this video to get a copy of this content. Plus, grab a free copy of my ebook, How I Fired My Boss and Traveled the World for 13 Years. While you're there, check out our catalog of retired cheap reports all over the world and our hobby income course that we just released. Thanks so much.